used like a Dragon Ball Z attack on me. That's just great. I like how I just managed to walk through that one. managed to kind of blindly stumble away from his attacks there. Or it didn't even do anything to me this time. Oh. I made it to some other part of the thing. Alright. Alright. What do we got here? Are you gonna evolve again? He did. What? What is that? It's still growing. No way, it's still evolving. Yeah. And I'm running out of supplies. I'm only hitting for one damage. Is this where I need to switch to his gun? Ow, oh, Jesus.
Little do I know, I need to shoot it with all of those 200 bullets I have before I can do anything. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, but I want to live too, like all other human beings. Survival of the fittest. There's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya's cells in them. So it's... Oh, yeah, lovely. Thanks, Daniel. You've really helped me out. Chewing him away, I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Stupid. Give them to me. <laughs> Excuse me. He's just gonna jump out of the helicopter. <laughs> I was being facetious. Oh. You lit on fire. Thanks. <laughs> I would say at least the water put him out, but first of all, he was already burning to death. And, uh... He was already burning to death. And that was pretty high up, so... Oh, it, it equipped me this gun for me. That was nice, though. Oh, snap! Nine... Or, triple nine. Sweet. I guess that's the damage cap, too. Alright, I have to actually take a turn out of my day to heal now. Yep, if I need to, that is. I like how that last one was still just two. God, just everything about you is disgusting. Daniel. Oh my god. There's gotta be something on this cruiser to get rid of this. Alright. So I guess we gotta run into the ship. of nothing do I have to run through here. Alright, so that looks like the path is obstructed. Wow, the music for this is intense. It keeps getting faster. I think Nemesis was chasing me or something. Jesus. <laughs> oh no. I ran backwards. Alright. Um, I hope this is the right way, because I've got no way to go if it isn't. shoots up. I can blow the ship to bits. Oh yeah? Do you know where we are? Oh. That's funny. So now what? 
am I just supposed to, uh... Am I supposed to do something in here? Am I supposed to just run away from it? I guess I'm supposed to go up here. <laughs> Since you kind of do that automatically. Now it's flying. <laughs> How did I shoot it back? Or I shot it almost to death. And the thing is managing to... Was that supposed to be like the Resident Evil endgame escape sequence? effectively, because I felt like it lacked the intensity there. <laughs> the thing wasn't breathing down my neck nearly enough, if that was what that was going for. Especially after they took the music away and just replaced it with that, like, alarm. I felt like the music was way more effective. What? <laughs> Uh, there's no way Daniel is alive. Get out of here. The man, the man, if not killed by combusting, would have died from, you know, smacking into the water from such a high fall. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? It's because Maya is inside of you too, eh? What? What? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me. Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but... You were born with a defect in your right eye. And so my Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then what I saw when Eve... When I touched Eve was... It said you had an extreme experience, or it said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded onto the cornea, but it hasn't been scientifically proven. <laughs> what? That was Maya's last memory, that was the last thing she ever saw. As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, what? <laughs> I think she underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve. Why? Okay, that was just a confusing way to say it. Why wouldn't you have said your body? You're still talking to me. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Oh boy. Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. <laughs> Oh man, this is starting with the incident in Japan, and now this. I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. What kind of message? You guys suck! How can I explain if the Earth is a single human being? We humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This, defi this is definitely utter destruction. No, we're not that weak. You see, humans are in essence parasites. You can say that we are parasites and the world is our host. Look, the sun's coming up. <laughs> Daniel's like, I don't want to think about this. Let's try and be happy that we ended or that Aya stopped this monster. I like the piano song they got going on here. <laughs> 